Navigating Economic Distress, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a phrase that's quite relevant in today's discussions around the world, in economic distress. This phrase is often used in news, articles, and discussions about the economy and can be quite important to understand fully. Let's break it down together, making it as simple as possible for all our English language learners. Stay with us as we explore what it means, how it's used, and why it's important. Economic distress refers to a situation where an economy is experiencing severe difficulties or issues. This could be due to various reasons such as high unemployment rates, low productivity, financial crises, or even the collapse of certain industries. When we say an individual, company, or country is in economic distress, we mean they are facing financial struggles that significantly impact their standard of living or operational capacity. Several key indicators can signal that an economy is in distress. These include high unemployment rates. A large number of people are without jobs and actively seeking work. Decreased consumer spending. People are buying less because they are trying to save money or because they have less money to spend. Falling stock prices. The value of companies on the stock market is decreasing. Increase in bankruptcies. More businesses are unable to meet their financial obligations and are declaring bankruptcy. Rising government debt. The government is borrowing more money to cover its expenses. Understanding these signs helps in identifying economic distress early and addressing it effectively. The effects of being in economic distress can be far-reaching, impacting not just the economy but also individuals' lives. Here are some consequences. Poverty. More people may fall below the poverty line due to loss of jobs or reduction in income. Decreased quality of life. Individuals may have to cut back on essentials and cannot afford previous lifestyles. Mental health issues. The stress and uncertainty can lead to an increase in mental health problems. Social unrest. High levels of economic distress can lead to protests, strikes, and even riots. Governments and organizations typically take various measures to mitigate the effects of economic distress, such as Stimulus packages Providing financial support to individuals, businesses, and sectors that are most affected Monetary policy changes Adjusting interest rates to encourage borrowing and spending Fiscal policy adjustments Changing tax rates or government spending to stimulate the economy Supporting job creation. Implementing programs to create new jobs and reduce unemployment. Understanding these responses is crucial for recognizing the efforts being made to alleviate economic distress. We hope this video has shed some light on what it means to be in economic distress and why it's such an important concept in today's world. Whether it's a country, a company, or an individual facing these challenges, understanding the term helps us grasp the broader economic situation and its potential impact on our lives. Remember, knowledge is the first step towards making informed decisions and navigating these challenging times. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this explainer helpful. See you in our next video. By breaking down the concept of economic distress into understandable segments, the video aims to educate English language learners about a complex topic in a simple and engaging manner.